Edinburgh is a famous world heritage city. It's wonderful to live and study here. And we have a wonderful school for you. The Caledonian Language School welcomes students to Scotland and to Edinburgh to enjoy learning English and living in a beautiful, atmospheric city. Hello and welcome to Edinburgh and welcome to the Caledonian Language School. At the Caledonian, our objective is to offer English courses which are very good quality at a low price. How do we do this? Well, firstly we operate in eight week blocks or terms which have fixed start and finish dates and this means that the administration is kept to a minimum. Second, we have very good teachers and we try to create very good conditions for them. This means that they have good facilities for preparation, they have good resources like books, supplementary materials, grammars, games, listening material and so on that they can use with classes. And finally, we're always available here in the office to talk to students who come in with problems or issues. These can be large or small. Somebody might want to print a CV or an air ticket or they might need to find a doctor or they might need to find new accommodation and we can help them with all of these things. The school is located in the centre of Edinburgh near Haymarket so we're very near to Princess Street which is the main shopping area and from where you can visit Edinburgh Castle and the Royal Mile. In our little area here there are a lot of offices so there are a lot of shops, cafes, restaurants, bars, quite a lively little area with lots of things to do at lunchtime or after school. The school itself is in a historical new town building. It's on two floors. The main classroom and office area is on the first floor and downstairs we have further classrooms and the student coffee room. We also have a study room where students can use computers for studying and they can also use books and CDs to help them to learn. The, the main courses that we offer at the Caledonian Language School are general English courses. We have full-time courses in the morning. For students who want a bit more, they can do an intensive course which includes two afternoons. In the morning general English classes, we use a communicative method, so what we get is students who have studied English at some point in the past, maybe when they were at school. They've studied grammar and they've studied vocabulary, but they're not using it very much. We aim to activate their use of language. We do this by using a course book, one of the most modern course books on the market, which contains a variety of activities. Typically, the teacher will explain some grammar or vocabulary, and then the students will do a practice activity with this. First activity will be something very simple, maybe a little exercise in the book, a gap fill, then they might do a very simple pair work task to people. By the end of the class, they'll be doing a freer, less controlled activity where they can use the language in a more natural way. This might be a discussion, possibly presentation or debate. So we're always trying to get students to use language actively. And on the intensive course, what we add in the two afternoons, which students also do, is the opportunity to do more communication practice. 
So they're not really looking at new language. What they're doing is practicing a function. So it might be that they're looking at a topic very simply like shopping, buying a pair of shoes, or going to the doctor, or they might be asked to take part in a debate about the environment or about the economic crisis. There will be a variety of topics which allow students to practice the language that they're learning in the morning. We also have examination practice classes for students who want to prepare for Cambridge First Certificate or IELTS. Typically these exam practice classes are just three hours a week and they focus on the techniques that students need for each of the parts of the examination. Again, the classes don't introduce very much new language. They're really focused on developing the students' skills for being successful in an examination. Now, I'd like to show you some more of the school and explain more about what we do here. So when students arrive and come in the front door, the first thing they can check is this board which gives information about the excursions that we organise. There's also information here about Cambridge examinations for students who are thinking about taking those. We've also got a lot of information about what's on in Edinburgh and around and about tours that students might like to make. Up here we also have our biggest classrooms. So there's classroom one here, classroom two here, and now we're going to look at the study room. Okay, this is the self-access room where students can come to study. We have traditional resources, grammar books, books, examination practice books, CDs that students can use, and we also have some PCs where we encourage students to access educational programs that can help them learning English, and we have spaces for students to study. I believe Alberto has a review tomorrow, so he's working hard to prepare for that. At the Caledonian Language School, we have classes at four levels, from pre-intermediate to advanced. On general English courses, we use a communicative methodology. The teacher presents some new language or a real-life situation, and students work with a variety of activities to practice the language. We practice the four skills of reading, writing, listening, and speaking. Teachers are enthusiastic and use activities which are interesting and challenging to help students learn. Students might start with a traditional grammar exercise in the book, then a short pair work practice and finish with an open communicative activity. Students get personal attention from the teacher in the classroom to help their pronunciation and accuracy in speaking and personal feedback on their written homework. We also offer examination preparation classes in Cambridge First Certificate, Cambridge Advance and IELTS. These are written examinations, so we focus more on reading, writing and listening activities to familiarise students with the exercises in these complicated examinations. Of course, we also practice the speaking but in the format demanded by each test. Hi, my name is Laura. I'm from Barcelona, Spain, and I've been studying in Caledonian Language School uh, since October uh, for six months. And in one month, I'm going to finish the, the advanced course. Hi, my name is uh, Nicola, and uh, I'm from, uh, I come from Italy, Italy and uh, I arrived in Edinburgh one month ago to improve.
school be English and study English at the Caledonian language school. My name is Ingrid, I'm from Spain and I came here last month to study English for two months at Caledonian school. Hi, I'm Flavia, I'm from Italy. I studied in the Caledonia for four weeks and I'm studying here for another four weeks. My name is Alberti, I'm from Galicia, northwest of Spain. Uh, I, I am studying English uh, for five weeks and my idea is continuing to study, study English uh, more time. Well, hi, my name is Pavel, I'm from Poland. Uh, I came to Edinburgh three and a half years ago and uh, I've studied English uh, since I came here. I never spoke English before. And uh, this is me, Pavel. This is Yolanda, uh, I'm from Spain. Um, and I've been living here for one year and one month now. Um, and when I first uh, arrived, uh, well, I came here to the Caledonian School to start a full-time course um, and when I arrived I, I, I didn't speak a word um, and now, well, at least I understand, I can speak with new people and... The city of Edinburgh is world famous for its old town streets and new town architecture. The old town has been revitalised recently by the building of the Scottish Parliament. The city centre is full of interest, from the dramatic outline of the Scott Monument to the National Art Gallery in Princes Street. And of course, we all love Edinburgh Castle, an icon for visitors and residents alike. When you come to Edinburgh, you must walk down the Royal Mile from Edinburgh Castle to Holyrood Palace, where Queen Elizabeth and her family stay when they are in Edinburgh. Also on the Royal Mile are St Giles Cathedral, other old churches, several small museums and lots of little shops, cafes, bars and restaurants. Finally, Edinburgh is full of green spaces, from Princess Street Gardens in front of the castle to Arthur's Seat, our miniature mountain or the meadows, where students relax in the summer. What I like the best is that it's a small city, you can go by food to everywhere, and you have a lot of options, a lot of cultural options, and places where you can enjoy with your friends, you have pubs, clubs, coffees, and a lot of places where you can spend a good time. Uh, I like uh, the atmosphere of the city, the capture are even and the landscape because it's very beautiful and full of our building. Um, I would recommend to look around the old city centre from Royal Mine, St. James and Half Coffee and Elephant House. Edinburgh is a beautiful city and the old town is uh, lively and very, very interesting. The museums and, and the open, the open sites, uh, the Holy Road Park, for example, is, is very nice. You've met some of our students. Now it's time to meet some of our fantastic teachers who bring a wealth of experience to the classroom. Yes, I have got over 20 years teaching uh, in both universities and in private education and uh, I've taught uh, around the world in many different countries. I've taught for more than 20 years in further education colleges here in the UK and in language schools abroad. Um, I've been teaching English for more than 30 years in Britain and also in other countries. I've got a Master's in Applied Linguistics and a Certificate in Education. Yes, I've got a first degree in Languages and a postgraduate diploma in Linguistics and English Language Teaching from Edinburgh University. I have the RSA Diploma and I also have a Master's in Applied Linguistics. 
Uh, we try to activate the language as much as possible by including communicative activities in the classroom. We teach a first certificate and advanced and IELTS exams here and we prepare the students for the techniques they're going to need to pass these exams and also of course the language and the types of vocabulary that are needed mm -hmm. to get a good mark in these. The students are in Edinburgh so it's important to prepare them to be able to use their language outside the school talking to native speakers. What I like best is that teachers are really helpful and they are really close with the students and if you have some problems, not just with English, just with your daily life in Edinburgh, you can ask them and they are always helping you. You can speak with everyone about everything and uh, it's a really friendly environment. Uh, yeah, and you can progress your English really, really quick if you want. Um, yeah, it's a nice place to be. Uh, because I've been here before, studying, and I heard it uh, by some friends that it's a, a good academy uh, uh, because of the, the teachers are really good and there is a good level uh, to, to study here. Is it because of a friend who was studying here before? And because I want to come to the city. How are you here? Okay. In the first, because I like Edinburgh. So the Caledonia is Edinburgh. And uh, I like uh, that uh, the Caledonia proposed a term um, for eight weeks. And for me, the spend time on improving English is very important. The, um, the better one is when we speak in groups. Because you do exchange or swap um, with other people, perhaps they know things that you don't know, so that helps you to have more vocabulary, more ways of speaking, um, and helps you as well to lose the I don't know the um, don't 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 be afraid of speaking English. So you feel more confident. Yes. I prefer, I, I love the atmosphere and uh, the, the lessons are very interesting and uh, for my level of English it's uh, most important to try to speak in the lesson uh, with other people in the future. And two is because it's one of the cheapest and I mean that the teachers are well experienced Education is important both inside and outside the school and we want to maximise the opportunities for our students here. When they are learning expressions for food and cooking, students may all contribute a typical dish from their countries to a lunch. Or advanced students might visit the law courts when they are studying the topic of crime and law. Or they may be asked to find and report on the best cup of coffee near the school. Learning should be fun. Yeah, my thing is fun. Because you can enjoy with the people, with the pizzas. Yeah. Yeah, very kind people. Also, it's helpful because not only they help you on to improve your English, they can help you to find a job but we prepared to look for it and also it's open for every English level for everyone. Fun, uh, interesting and uh, amazing. <laughs> so I think that the Caledonian Academy is uh, very nice, uh, helpful and the one, one, one point is that uh, when you are in, in class, it's, uh, it's fun as, as well as, um, as serious. So you can feel comfortable in the class, but you feel in, uh, in a serious environment. I like uh, the method of uh, Uh, person to speaking and improve the
fluency. Mm -hmm. I recommend because it's a, a really funny school with a good environment and then because the price of how did your language school was the decision after the college I used to study in the college and I met many teachers and by like now they work in Caledonia language school and I knew I have to do a progress with my language and that's why I came to Caledonia language school. Um, well, I like uh, overall the people. I think they are charming, uh, really polite. They they are always willing to help you. Um, and well, I like the city in general. So I think it's beautiful.